Right, if you want to use SDR console with external equipment, perhaps a login program or a ham radar deluxe or even remote hams RCF orb server, you're going to need a set of uh, virtual serial ports that you can connect to the device. Now we're going to use VSP Manager by K5FR. Now the only way you can get this is to email him and if you're a licensed amateur he will allow you a free copy for your own personal use. If you're not a licensed amateur then you won't be able to have a copy. I'll give you some alternatives a little bit later on uh, towards the end of the video. Right so we've got the manager installed and we've got it open. You can see we've got no virtual ports. We've got an existing physical port of COM1 we need to create another pair so COM2 and COM3 come up automatically click on the create pair button and then click we'll ignore that quite often get that exception in Windows 8 now click refresh and you'll see the ports are there okay now you can minimize that and let's start SDR console okay Now, this is the latest version, build 1676. And just for the sake of it, we'll connect my SDR4. And away we go. Right, now we click on Tools and Program Options. And you'll see we've got the two virtual ports there, COM2 and COM3. We need to put a tick in COM3. Okay that's the end of the virtual cable that SDR console is connected to COM2 is the other end of that cable and that's what we're going to connect the third party software to so let's take a look at that All right minimize the SDR console let's open say RCF orb that's the server for remote hams this is going to allow me to connect to SDR console via the virtual serial port. Now at the moment it's connected to the dummy. Let's connect to SDR console. So it's radio connection we want via serial com port and we want <coughs> serial com 2. That's the other end of our virtual port. Okay let's change the radio selection to SDR radio. SDR console okay all the other settings you can leave as they are okay now let's save and restart that is now connected to the SDR console now I filled all the other information in so this is now published and he's on the air that's all you need to do for that at the moment